Today, we have no original copy of the Torah, the Injil, the Zubur, or the Quran, though we do have thousands of reliable early copies of each of these. Let's look at the history of the Quran and see exactly what has happened. You see, when Muhammad revealed the Quran and his disciples were writing them down, the words of the Quran, they would write them down on leaves, on, on bones, on whatever they had to write down the words as they came to Muhammad. These leaves and bones were, whatnot, were never collected during the time of Muhammad. They weren't collected until afterwards when Muhammad had died. Abu Bakr commissioned a group of people to go and collect everything and write down what Muhammad had said. When this was finally done, it was collected in the form of a kitab and given um, ultimately to uh, the wife of Muhammad, Hafsa. Later, during Uthman's time, the Qur'an was recalled and re-edited and put back together because people were beginning to read the Qur'an differently. There were different variations that were happening throughout the Muslim world. And that is when everything was recollected, recopied, and the Qur'an, all of its manuscripts, were entirely burnt and destroyed. And just the one that was copied was copied into five, some say seven or ten copies, and sent throughout the Muslim world. It is sometimes claimed that one or another of the ancient Qur'ans found in Samarkand and Tapkapi are Uthman's copy with his blood still on them. However, Muslim scholars agree that the handwriting style, vowel markings on these Qur'ans, as well as other historical records all clearly indicate that in reality they date much later than the third caliph Uthman. Currently, the earliest existing manuscript fragments of the Qur'an date to almost 70 years after Muhammad's death. Similarly, the earliest remaining manuscript fragments for the Injil dates to 50 years after the original writing. 